Hey folks, this is the second video in the quadratic functions section. What I'd really like to do is give you a review on completing the square. You would have learned completing the square in past math classes, but I just want to give you a review of it. So if you want to complete the square on the equation 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and for the record, the whole reason that you would want to complete the square is because it's going to give you the vertex form once you're finished. But the way that you're going to do that, first of all, is you want to move C to the other side. And you then want to divide on both sides by your A. So get C over to the other side, divide both sides by A. I'll do an example with you here in just a moment. Then what you're going to do is you want to take half of the B value. Then you want to square that number that you just found. After you square that number, you want to add what you found in step number three. Add that to both sides. Then, after you add to both sides, you want to factor your trinomial. Factor your trinomial. After you've factored your trinomial, combine your constants. Now let's go back and do an example by following each of these steps. Notice that I have an example at the top of the screen. 3x squared minus 12x minus 7 is equal to 0. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move c to the other side. So my 7 gets moved to the other side by, by addition. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that equation and divide on both sides by our a. So we're getting rid of that a. After we've done that, let's go ahead and simplify. So you want to make sure here that you divide the first term by your 3 and the second term by your 3. So that's going to give you x squared minus 4x is equal to that 7 thirds. Now after you've done this, take half of your b value. Your b value right now is that negative 4. So you want to take half of your b value. Take half of negative 4. And when you take half of negative 4, you know that you're going to get a negative 2. Now take that number and square it. So negative 2, if you square that, you're going to get a positive 4. Step number 4, add what you found to both sides. So here you see that I have my plus 4 on the left and I have my plus 4 on the right. Now you want to factor the trinomial. Now what trinomial am I talking about? Tri means 3, so this is my trinomial and I want to factor that. So you're going to factor, it's going to become x minus 2 quantity squared. By the way, there's a shortcut to this, so let me talk about this real quick. In order to factor, keep the variable that you are already working with. This number here goes back to the half of b that you found just a few moments ago. So whatever you got for your half of b is going to be inside of your factor, and it's going to be x with that number squared. And then the last step that you want to do is you want to combine your constants. So you need to combine your 7 thirds and your 4. Get a common denominator to do that. So I changed 4 into 12 thirds. 7 thirds plus 12 thirds gives me 19 thirds. And at this point, your quadratic equation has, uh, you have used completing the square on it.